Question 8. The graph shows some mysterious quantity. Varies with Q. For object falling in air, so it's kind of like free fall maybe, for a long time. I wonder why they said this. For a long time. In a uniform gravitational field. So it's telling you like G is going to be 9.81 and a constant. What could be the identities of P and Q? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I changed my mind. Uniform gravitational field. So I say FG is constant. Because maybe there's drag force. Then my acceleration won't be 9.81 anymore. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Let's look at all the choices one by one. Because I'm not sure where to start. So the first one. Force of air resistance against acceleration. Now when you see a straight line graph like this. Uh, it means that P is proportional to Q. So can we think of air resistance? Let's call this force of air resistance drag force. FD. And acceleration A. How does those two relate? Uh? Can we think of a way where they relate? Uh? Um, there is air resistance in this question. Oh no. So you got to think of terminal velocity after a long time. You probably want to say that you have reached terminal velocity. Which means your, your weight, okay, you have an mg, you have an opposing drag force. And the acceleration at this point is zero. That's what I mean by terminal velocity. So V is constant. The velocity is constant. Now, can this idea fit with our graph? If this was FD against acceleration, then when FD is maximum, okay, this is when it's the largest idea, acceleration should be zero. Huh? Mm, that means I should reach this point. Leh. FD largest A should be zero. But the graph does not pass that point at all. Oh no, this does not match. So this does not fit with the idea of terminal velocity because when FD is largest, acceleration should be zero, but that does not fit with our graph at all. No, cannot. B, kinetic energy against time. Okay, this one we got to think of some equations already. Uh, let's, let's think of this. Kinetic energy, how do you calculate this? EK equals to half mv squared. Can you think of an equation that can relate kinetic energy with time? Hmm, V equals to U plus AT. Yeah, U plus half AT. U plus AT. Maybe initial speed is zero because you drop an object, maybe? So I can say, okay, energy is related to V square. But then only V is related to T. So it's a non-linear relationship already. If I want to sub into the equation, uh, I will get something like this. Kinetic energy equals to half m let's say u is zero just to simplify our brain a bit this would be a t square so this one can simplify to half m a square t square wow cannot lah this is not linear e is proportional to t square it's not gonna be a linear graph so non-linear nope cannot non-linear cannot have power power like p proportional to q squared no P proportional to Q. We want a straight line. Let's look at C. Potential energy. How do you calculate that? EP equals to MGH. Oh. We can compare EP against H. Is M and G constant? If yes, then you can say EP is proportional to H. Because M and G is all constant. Ah, I like this. This could be the answer where you have potential energy against height. Mm, okay, let's check the last one just in case. So let's scroll down a little bit. Work done against air resistance. How do we calculate work done? Work done will be force times a uh, certain displacement you have gone. And this will be, this will be the uh, drag force, air resistance. Speed. How do you relate that to speed? Oh, maybe we can say uh, drag force. Usually, we say proportional to V square. Or if you want to write the whole equation out, we would say that the drag force of an object is equal to some constant times V square. It's a general equation for it, lah, unless stated otherwise. So uh, you could say, oh, means we can sub the equation together. Okay, let's try. 
work done against air resistance will be kv squared times s now you might be very tempted to say oh miss w against uh, v uh, wait v square oh no two problems here firstly you have a square that's not a straight line anymore it's a quadratic second problem this s is it really a constant you are traveling over a certain distance so it's not a constant anymore so you cannot say w is proportional to uh, any of the other values so no this is not best choice c so it helps that you know equations and you know how to do all this mumbo jumbo around try to see whether it's linear or non-linear but remember the main idea is if you want a straight line graph like this you have to have a linear relationship where p is proportional to q everything else constant no square no square root no cube no power Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.